In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a representation of a Mobius strip inside SolidWorks. Now, Mobius strip is a non-orientable surface, which means that it doesn't really have a front side or a back side. So uh, we could create this with either solids or surface approach in SolidWorks. So I'm going to start with solids, since I think that's probably the most common that people are looking for. So uh, I'm going to first create the path for the Mobius strip. So this can be circular or elliptical or really any shape. I'm just going to use a circle to keep things simple. And I'll actually draw it offset from the origin some distance. And so I drew it with the center point out there, coincident to the origin. Uh, we can make the circle vertical to the origin and set its diameter. do five inches. Now for reasons we're going to see shortly, we actually want to split this circle up into two chunks. So we can do that by right clicking and going to sketch tools and split entities. And then just click somewhere near the top. Actually, we can split it right at the top. And then also at the bottom. And if we hit escape, we should have two different arcs that make up the circle. And I do just want to make sure these are related, so I can just kind of drag and drop it onto the origin there. And then for the one on top, I'll set that vertical to the origin. Great, so if you've got this, then you're good to go to the next step. We'll exit the sketch. And the next sketch will be the path for the Mobius strip. So if I look here, it should be my right plane that I can create a sketch on. And conveniently, the origin is right where I want it to be. So I'm going to use a center rectangle. And it's important that it is at the center of the path, as we're going to be twisting it in opposing directions to create this Mobius shape. So we create the center rectangle, and then we just need to set the width that we want of our path. So let's do 3 quarters of an inch. And the height that we want I'll do 0.2 inches. Then we can exit the sketch. So it's not going to be possible to do this in just a single sweep from what I found. So we will do two sweeps. So under your features tab and swept boss, we'll select the sketch profile. We'll select the one side of the path. Now, when you click it, it's going to want to do the entire thing. Um, so for closed paths in SolidWorks, like if we could twist it 180 degrees, that might accomplish what we want. Uh, under profile twist, you can set a twist value, but it only allows you to go in full increments. So as it says here, it needs to be specified in a multiple of a revolution. So to get around this, we will sweep. And then inside your path selection box, right click and choose the selection manager and choose just one of those sides that we created. Uh, you might need to be on this this multiple select group with the four three arrows there, and then click the check mark. You can kind of ignore that preview I have on the screen because it is in fact only doing one half. And then under the options is where the magic is going to happen. We're going to go to profile twist, and specify twist value, and type in let's do ninety degrees for this first one. So we're bending ninety degrees as we go around the sweep, twisting rather, and we'll click the check mark. So that's kind of the first half of my Mobius strip. And then, you know, in SolidWorks, anytime you want to reuse a feature or a sketch uh, that had been absorbed, you just need to expand. So we can select our profile sketch again here and initiate a new sweep. And then we can use this little flyout tree here to select the uh, path again, and we'll need to go back into that selection manager. So this is actually going to be a couple steps. We'll need to show the sketch. And then we can right click go into the selection manager, choose the other half, and get the check mark to produce that. And then we want to make sure that this lines up. Now, if we did just 90 degrees again, this would actually not be a Mobius strip. Because if you can look, uh, 
as we picture a particle or something going around the top, it would actually stay on the top, right? So what we want to do is reverse this 90 degrees the opposite direction. We can click that little reverse arrow there to reverse the twist. And then now if you picture an object moving across the top, it's actually going to end up on what we would call the bottom, right? And continue to circle around and then come back up to the top again. So when I click the check mark, this should merge results, should become one solid body. Technically, it's not a true Mobius strip. SolidWorks doing it this way, it is split up into multiple faces. Um, but you can, if you want to get the better visual effect, you know, you could either change your shaded with, with edges off, your display style, or uh, those edges should be tangent. So you could go to view, display, and go to tangent edges phantom like I have here, or tangent edges removed altogether, and then you wouldn't see the presence of those edges there. So that's the simplest example of producing a Mobius strip type geometry inside SolidWorks.